everyone, Kristen from Team Breshna, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your favorite image into a jigsaw puzzle game using the Breshna Game Creator. To get started, head to the official website, which is breshna.io, and then scroll down until you can see the game templates. Look for the Jigsaw Jam template and press the Create button to open the editor. Once the editor has been opened, navigate to the left-hand side and click the Background tab. This is where we'll choose a background color for our game. I personally like this dark green with this hexagon pattern because I think it looks really really nice so it's the one that I'll be going with for my game. Next we're going to customize the image of our puzzle. You can choose from any of these that are currently available or you can press the upload your image button to upload your own custom image. This is what I'll be doing for my game. So I'm going to click the button and press this cat.png. Once we've selected an image that we like, then we can customize the level of zoom on it if we'd like to zoom it in a little bit more, or additionally you can rotate it as well. I think I'll leave the rotation back at the default level and press crop to save my settings. After that, we'll navigate to the music tab and choose a song of our choice. There are a lot of tracks here to choose from, so you can press the play button to any of the tracks that you would like to listen to. Once you've decided which track you like the most, press the plus button to add it to your game. I personally like this nightlife track, which you'll hear throughout the entirety of this tutorial video. Now that I've customized my game's background, my puzzle's image, and my game's track, we can move over to the right hand side and check out the game info tab where we can customize our game's title, tags, category, and description. We'll start with the title. For my title, I'll keep it simple and just call it Colorful Cat Puzzle. Next, we'll customize our game's tags. For this, I think I'm going to add the tags Cat, Animal, and Art since it pertains to my particular image. After my tags, I am going to select a category from my game between Education, Social and Entertainment, games for good, enterprise, health, and sports. Since this is just a puzzle game, I'm going to select social and entertainment because I feel like it is the best category for my particular game. Next, we can choose whether or not we want to collect our player's email addresses. For my game, I'm actually going to leave this setting off. Next, we're going to customize our game's description. This description will appear in the About section of our game. Since it's just a simple puzzle, we'll just call it a colorful cat puzzle by Cuddle of Death. And this is where I'm choosing to include my actual Breshna nickname on here as well. After this, we'll scroll back to the top and select the Levels tab. The Levels tab will allow you to add additional levels if you'd like. For this, we're just going to be customizing Level 1. As you can see, it will show the background and the image that we chose for our puzzle. It has an introduction section, which I will just leave as the same as my title, which is Colorful Cat Puzzle. Next, we'll be able to customize the closing answer. The closing answer is what your player receives after they've completed the puzzle. For my game, I wanted to say, Possum Job. Next, we can choose to include a hint for our image. Because it's just a colorful cat puzzle, I'll just put the hint as colorful cat. We're almost done with customizing our game. The final thing that we have to decide is how many puzzle pieces we want our game to have. You can choose between a 3x3, 4x4, or 5x5 grid. Keep in mind, the smaller your grid is, the easier your puzzle tends to be to solve. For this game, I'm going to select a 4x4 grid. And with that, we're ready to publish our game by clicking the Publish button at the top. Now you can see that our game has been published. You can copy the URL and share it with your friends or press the Play button to check out your game. If you're proud of your game, consider submitting it to the Brezhna Bolt Squad Spotlight series to get featured on the website. 